What is going on, world? Welcome, welcome. Peace, peace. It's Jerry Goins once again for My Economy Matters. Just giving you some kind of financial topics that's on my mind and uh, hopefully sharing with the world, help you with anything that you're doing. It's Mr. Never Limits on the wrist. Y'all can pick yours up at neverlimits.com. I want to give a quick shout out, first of all, to my man, Mr. Brian Bean, self made millionaire. You know, he's actually I witnessed a lot of the pitfalls and money traps firsthand that you can fall into. And he led a discussion uh, one day, and my team was a part of that, and we got to witness firsthand, you know, some of these things that he was talking about. So there's five secret holes in your money, and he showed us how to help put it into each one of those and basically end systematic poverty. So if you break down what systematic poverty is, is basically poverty that is – uh, forced, you know, it's all basically you put it on a conveyor belt, you put a person on a conveyor belt, and if he doesn't uh, avoid these pitfalls, then he's going to end up poor. It's plain, plain and simple. So the biggest thing that you understand is, um, number one, did you understand? You got to understand this right here. The biggest banks, they made $6 billion in 2015 just from overdraft fees and ATM fees alone. And how crazy is that? Six billion with a B dollars just because you didn't have enough money in your bank account or because you were on the other side of town trying to withdraw money. You know, that's actually a five billion dollar increase from the previous year. So it's not getting better. <laughs> that's the worst part about it. And it, you think that the biggest profits from banks come from loans, uh, basically, you know, loaning out money and getting interest back and everything like that. No, no, <laughs> it's actually fees on people that don't have enough money in their account when they drop things. So the, think about this, your lack of money is costing you money. That's the first hole in your money. If you think about it too, the bank makes more money from you being broke than from you being wealthy. So that's kind of crazy to think about. But uh, once you get rid of that, once you understand that hole, you realize that the tax man, you know, you're going to charge taxes up front if you're an employee, you know, you don't have a home-based business. But understand that business owners pay taxes second, and that's after deductions like expenses and things like that. And you actually qualify for 400 plus different tax deductions by being a part of the movement. That that right there alone can help free up a lot of money. It's up to 35% in some cases that people have their taxes coming off. So they take the money off you up front, they profit off the interest, and they give it back to you next year as a tax refund. And then they tax that too because that's income. That's a shame. So in all this information, man, it is given to me. I'm not making this up. you know. So I study people that are where I want to be in life. And if you're not where you want to be in life right now, you might want to get a new circle of friends. You might want to hang around some millionaires. You might want to get somebody, listen to somebody's blog or, or something like that that is actually getting the information or that's there themselves. So if you don't have a business or a home-based business or anything like that, you don't get to participate in those tax codes of the rich. You can find more information out about this on my blog, jerrygoins.com. It's one. It's, this post is actually one of the most recent posts that I did. It was actually back in May, uh, 2016. So you can go and check check it out. But that's the second hole. Speaking of interest, since Uncle Sam takes so much money from your checks, oftentimes you gotta borrow money from the bank just to make up for that. Now, little do you know you're gonna be paying back almost one and a half times what you borrow from the bank thanks to compound interest. The average household credit card debt is 15000 for a reason. Compound interest is the third hole in your money. Like Albert Einstein said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world for a reason. Now, those that understand it, use it to their advantage. Those that don't understand it, they get capitalized on. And this is a capitalist nation. And there's be another video on that, by the way, the capitalism Trust me, trust me, you don't want to miss that one. That's really important. I'm going to be touching on uh, the inequalities that we have in America and how we can solve that uh, by just changing your mindset. That's going to be probably the second, next video after this one or the second one down. I think I'm going to hold that in the video vault, as a matter of fact. But 
after your compound interest, to add to all of this, the value of your dollar is shrinking every day thanks to something called inflation. We actually call that the silent income killer. Okay, that's like a sniper sitting on the roof and just hitting you, hitting your team, hitting your squad, and you don't know where the sniper is. That's inflation. This is the same reason it's estimated that people born in the 80s or millennials, they're going to need two to two and a half million dollars in cash to retire comfortably. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to retire very comfortably because I already know that my current lifestyle is funded by labor. My future lifestyle is going to be funded by investments. If you don't set up something right now for your future investments in your future lifestyle, you're going to be one of these people going back to work, greeting people at Walmart. And I know that's not what you want to do with your life. And shout out to all my door greeters out there. Love y'all. But by the time we hit retirement age, which is going to be closer to 70 because, you know, we're living longer and everything. Uh, we're stuck paying back um, interest loans on depreciating funds. So our, defunds, our funds, our money is depreciating. But we have accumulated interest and compound interest on our debts. So we're paying back appreciating loans with depreciating money. And we wonder why we can't get ahead. That's the fourth hole in the money. Now, the last hole in your money, and this is probably my favorite one because it's kind of fun to go through each month and kind of understand like how to, how the big businesses are getting our money. But last and not least, my great citizens of the nation, participating in the economy, and capitalism and commerce and everything like that is actually the fifth hole in your money. Failure to participate in Christmas makes you a Scrooge. And if you stay inside for New Year's, you're a party pooper. If you don't get your love, your boo, something for Valentine's Day, they don't mean nothing to you. If you don't get your mom something or your dad something for Father's Day, Mother's Day, then you're terrible kids. <laughs> Uh, or, okay, we may not be kids anymore, but you understand what I'm saying. And there's nothing more unpatriotic about not buying fireworks or cooking out on the 4th of July. We just had a Halloween, right? And if you think about it, we're telling our kids not to eat candy, and then we go out and shove a bunch of candy down their throats. It doesn't really make sense. But at least they're walking. At least they're walking, right? <laughs> but um, that's the fifth hole in our money is basically – just big business. Every month there's something that companies spend billions of dollars in advertising for to get their hands in your pocket. All right. So the rich get richer, poor get poor. Just another day. That just describes systematic poverty. It's a plague on 95% of Americans. 60% of us don't even have $1,000 in our savings. 25% have a 599 or less credit score. It's because we're irresponsible and dumb, right? Well, before you answer that, <laughs> I don't I don't think that this many college graduates and honor students are so backwards that they can't live up to abundance and live like the top 5%. I think God made the top 5% of the population the same with the same intelligence that he made the rest of us. So what's the secret? You know, what is it? Well, first first thing I do, of course, I'm going to give you something that my personally that helps me out is I budget you got to be able to budget, and there's plenty of ways to do this. You can look up things online or anything like that. But for me, I like to take my take-home pay. Let's say it's $1,000 a month, and you divide that by 31 days. Okay, so you have a maximum of, maximum of about $32 to spend every day. So you know if you go over 32 bucks, you know you're kind of overspending for that month. And, and this is, excuse me, this is after you pay all your bills, okay? So I need you to remember, all your bills are already taken out, all your, you know, your debt, your student loans, your car note, your, your mortgage paying, all that. Take all that out of your income. Let's say you're left with $1,000. And you take that, you divide it by 31. This is the maximum days of the month will be 31. And you know that, hey, I got, you know, 32 bucks or so uh, to spend every day. And if I were to spend like $60 one day, then I don't spend anything for the next two days. That kind of helps you keep your cash flow right without waiting until like the last week before you, pay, you get paid, the last seven days. And we all know this. We've all been through this. The last seven days of the month where you have no money coming in and you're just like, oh, what do I do? Well, it's because you didn't budget throughout the month. I'd rather have 
you know, a hundred dollars in my bank account, knowing that I'm going to get paid in the next few days than to like blow all my money. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's just one thing. This, this is my little thing. It's called daily spending limit. Um, but other than that, you got to escape the rat race. Okay. Jobs are great. Jobs are here for two reasons. It's to help you learn a trade and it's here to help you fund your dreams and start your own business. If you're not doing one of those two things, you're at the wrong job, right? So what you want to do is actually take your job income, invest it into a home-based business or your own startup business and eventually go from paying the higher tax bracket to the lower tax bracket. All right. And investors, they pay the lowest tax percent anyway. That's capital gains. I go into a video and all that later on, but just follow me here. Basically, my team is here to end systematic poverty across the nation by helping each other maintain and gain the mentality of a CEO. All right. You get the benefits of an entrepreneur. You get a whole bunch of other things. I'm not going to go into it right now. Just know that there's options out there for you. And if we can help you reach your goals, help you, um, for example, build wealth with your current income, all right? Legally reduce your taxes, eliminate debt faster, get your get a better credit score, uh, create your own personal economy, start a home-based business, retire much, much younger. Wouldn't that be worth about 10 minutes of your time to learn exactly what we're doing? Just inbox me or inbox anybody that's showing you this video. It's getting long. I know I'm long-winded. They tell me that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it up here shortly because, again, you probably didn't end – Probably didn't get close to the end of the video, but uh, but anyway, just let me know. Inbox me and um, let me see if I can remember my business number. 910-367-5258. That's my business number. You can call that and or text me on it and just say, hey, you know, I want more information on the shift, or you can visit my blog, jerrygoins.com, find more information out. Other than that, people, I am out. This has been five secret holes in your money and how to fix it. Until later, peace. Check out my next video, Money, excuse me, My Economy Matters, part 